I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of shit come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. And what was left over, I put towards my dreaming. But the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for, believe me. Take into your hands a plan, your own hands can land your own brand and damn I feel like no one takes accountability, they want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the fucking hours It takes to get some power, don't be sour Take a cold shower, scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder and fuck all the doubters They're just downers I swear to God they all let me down I always fought just to wear the crown I'm pissed off at these fucking clowns we're all taught they deserve an ounce It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown
Good morning, everybody. Chuck here. Today I'm going to Nakom Panom. This time of the year, we're usually home quite a bit. And it always happens to me. I get really bored sitting at home, but we go home for the holidays. And then after that, I have to renew, shortly after that, I have to renew my, my visa, extend my visa every year. So we're usually home the most during the holidays. And then the beginning of, normally we have a big festival coming up pretty soon. And then we have Chinese New Year starting at the, uh, at the end of this month. So we're going to be home for about another three weeks before we go on our trip. So we got a lot of things planned before our next big trip. But man, I am bored big time. So I'm going to go take a ride into Nakom Panom. I'm going to spend the night, get up and go play golf in the morning, like I told you guys before. But uh, it's very hot today. I think today might be the hottest day it's been in a while. It's like my... My computer says 31, but it did say it did say 35 a minute ago <laughs> Celsius. But uh, I'm a little over halfway. I've gone about 30 kilometers, and uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day. And thanks for coming with. Let's try not to get run over today. It's a funny thing we just witnessed. You see this van coming up behind me right here? It's a, it's like a big truck inspector. So all these other big trucks were just parked all around here. And as soon as somebody gave them the go ahead, then they all started to take off. It's funny, they set up a, an inspection station on the side of the road and then the trucks, they don't want to deal with the hassle. So they just park and wait until they decide it's uh it's lunchtime because uh right now it's uh it's lunchtime Monkey, kill it, monkey, kill it, monkey, all the 
this resort I've stayed here a few times last time I played golf I walked out this door stepped on that thing and busted my ass on the <laughs> who was hurting for a few days so they had a promotion here last few times I stayed during a slow time it was eight 400 baht a night but now it's back to normal 600 which is okay but the only problem is is she's like oh there's no electricity <laughs> I'm like, what? Okay. She said, uh, they're working on it. It should be done by five. I'm like, oh, okay. I guess if not, I'll be rolling into town a little bit later. So I'll just put my gear up and then go, um, yeah, go into town or take a nap, open the window. The room's hot. So I'm just going to go into town and grab some lunch. I got, I, I brought a hot pot and soup. I was just gonna eat soup because I'm not gonna eat too much food while I'm here because I'm trying to lose about, I need to lose a couple more kilo. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe go in town and get some soup. Jean Market. Dinosaurs. Fishing stuff. Guy in my way. <laughs> Scooter. Machine gun. Random flying bird. <laughs> Right next to the Indogene Nakompano Market is a bicycle rental place. There are many bicycles here and place to come sit down and eat. Right here, that's the river. This is the bicycle shop.
So it looks like I'm gonna get me a couple of grilled cheese sandwiches. That's what I'm in the mood for. Can't buy beer because it's not five o'clock yet. It is a few minutes till, but you can buy beer anywhere else except for his big store. Okay, I'm gonna go take a ride down to the river, show you guys what it looks like at night. Hopefully there's not a lot of people here. Courtney's not feeling well, so he just canceled our golfing trip. So I'm gonna cut the trip short, gonna head home early in the morning. Got my, all of my safety lights on. Yeah, we're gonna go, uh, let's go for a ride. I got this also. I don't know if you can see it or not, check it out. I know, cool, right? I got one in the front too. So that's the Fortune Hotel over here. This is a container camp. It shows on the website that it's open. Paige said for me to check it out, but it doesn't look like it's open. She said maybe in the back. But this whole area is pretty cool. They got really good nightlife. Of course, it's not really happening so much yet. They just loosened up some of the restrictions here. So we'll see what happens to the at the end of the month. But this is the uh, container camp. I don't see it really open. Yeah, I don't see it open. But a lot of good restaurants here and down by the river and all, all this area next to the Fortune Hotel. But we're headed all the way down here to the Payana a little bit, maybe another kilometer. I've never seen this here before on this side. Of course, they don't come out this way much at night, but they have a, looks like aerobics out here. We're, we're not here, we're still close to the fort. I just came down about another, not very far, but this, this is a really nice park here. And it's good to see they have a lot of exercise happening. They had the music jamming a second ago. It looks stage. like they're, I don't know, I have, hopefully I can get enough light out of this video because it's dark, but older, ladies here they come and exercise every night and it's really cool to see we missed it because it's uh, i think it's like six o'clock you know there's not a whole lot of places i've been to in thailand that is as beautiful and as organized as nakom phanom nakom phanom it really got very good management here and really put to, i know a lot of this has to do with the younger the younger entrepreneur group here that i've met some of them they put a lot of this stuff they organized a lot of this stuff, but it's really cool out here. Really, really nice. All right, let's go for a little ride. church of course if you're into church there's a church and the uh nom tio yogurt guy Christmas brought so much joy Couldn't wait for the press 
sense and laughter I couldn't sleep late at night Looking for Santa with lights Those are the memories I still remember Then I became a man Lost sight of who I am But right in front of me was the answer Cause on Christmas I feel joy guys hate me right now but look at that i just i'm so hungry right now but it's okay i'll uh <laughs> i still have another six i'm about from where i am to top of Nome right now it's about 70 kilometers so um, i'm way out over there close to the uh, tile bridge <laughs> Please make it well done. I won't eat it if it's raw meat. So, uh, yeah, it's very good. <laughs> it's very good. I just can't eat a lot of bread, but the meat is pretty good here. The meat actually comes from the sun called the home. It's very good. I love Thailand. That was awesome. It was actually 190 baht, no, 163 baht. Of course, no beer. But uh, 163 baht for the hamburger, and it comes with a little bit of french fries and some water. And I gave her a nice little tip. This looks pretty cool, but I guess you probably can't see it. I don't know. Anyway, let's go. Uh, let's go back for another ride. And I'm gonna actually end the video. It's dark, and head back to the hotel. I gotta get up early in the morning and head back home. I got some tires ordered. I ordered some new uh, Michelin tires for my truck. The tires still look pretty good, but they're dry rotted. And I, I'm afraid to, uh, I, I don't want the tread to come apart while we're driving down the road. So got new tires and I'll let you guys know what the cost of that was when I find out tomorrow. Bye.